In this question, we're asked to find the molarity of a concentrated sulfuric acid that has a percent by mass of 96% and density of 1.84 grams per ml. Let's list down what the question gives us. We have 96%, which is the percent by mass. We also have 1.84 grams per ml, that is the density. And the question wants us to find the molarity. Looking at this information, let's pull out the three formulas, percent by mass, density, and molarity. Mole of H2SO4 can be calculated by dividing the mass of H2SO4 with its molar mass. So we have four formulas all together. So which formula should we start with first though? Well, let's look at the first one, percent by mass. So we have the percent, but we don't have the mass of solute and the mass of the solution. So let's look at the second one, the density formula. We have the density, but we don't have the mass or the volume. Let's look at the molarity formula. We don't have either the mole or the volume of the solution. And for the mole formula, we can find the molar mass of H2SO4, but we don't have the mass of H2SO4 to calculate the mole. So it looks like we're going to have to make an assumption for the volume of the solution, and that will give us the mass of the solution using the density formula. So we'll start off with the density formula. So we make an assumption on the volume, and that will give us the mass of the solution. Once we've calculated the mass of the solution, we're going to plug it in to the percent by mass formula, and that is going to give us the mass of H2SO4. Once we found the mass of H2SO4, we're going to plug it in the mole formula, and that will give us the number of mole. And once we figure out the number of mole, we can plug it in the molarity formula to find the molarity, which is what the question wants us to find. So starting with the density formula, let's make an assumption for the volume of the solution. To simplify life, let's just assume that we have 1 liter of solution, which is equivalent to 1000 ml. You can start off with any volume that you like, and it will not affect the final answer as long as you use the same volume of the solution in the fourth equation. You'll see what I mean later. Plugging in 1.84 grams per ml for the density and 1000 ml for the volume that we assume, that is going to give us the mass of the solution as 1840 grams. Now be careful that you plug in ml for the volume instead of 1 liter because the unit for density is grams per ml. So therefore, the volume of the solution needs to be in ml as well. Using the mass of solution that we've just found, let's plug it in the percent by mass formula. And we have 96 equals to mass of H2SO4 divided by 1840 grams times 100. And that will give us 1766.4 grams for the mass of H2SO4. Using that mass of H2SO4 that we've just found, let's plug it in the mole formula. And we have 1766.4 grams for the mass of H2SO4. As for the molar mass of H2SO4, we can just use the atomic mass from the periodic table for H, S, and O. Don't forget to multiply 2 for H and 4 for O. So dividing the mass with the molar mass is going to give us 18.01 mole. Using this mole, we're going to plug it into the final formula, which is the molarity formula. And that will give us 18.01 divided by 1 liter. Remember that assumption for the volume that we use? This is the same value, which is 1 liter. So earlier, if you made a different assumption for the volume, make sure you use that same value here. So we calculate this and that's going to give us 18.01 molar. We present the answer in the correct sig fig and that's going to give us the molarity as 18 molar. With that, we're done answering this question. What do you think? Is this question manageable? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Hope you find value in this video. Do subscribe and thanks for watching. And do give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.